Paris in the springtime and 180 cars from Lamborghinis to limousines are gathered for the ultimate road trip, the Gumball 3000 Rally. Competitors from every continent on the planet are getting ready to race and party their way from Europe to Africa and back. What's up? Ready to go. How are you? We're going to kick some butt. From professional sportsmen to supermodels, <laughs> Oscar winning actors to skateboard stars, I'm a copyright. singers, and everything in between. They're all here. Don't ever read or believe anything that you hear about Gumball. I wouldn't do it. It's, uh, it's messy, it's horrible, you know. Don't believe anything. Leave it alone. Oh, Jesus! Spanish police have pulled him up, dragged him out at gunpoint, and he's been in Nick for the last 24 hours. For six years now, the gumball has ripped its way across Europe and the USA. Inspired by the outlaw road movies of the 1970s, it has become an annual pilgrimage for the world's speed junkies. And, as always, the gumballers are already looking forward to renewing their acquaintance with the world's law enforcement agencies. I think the most special part of this gumball compared to doing it in the U.S. is that the cops won't be as difficult, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm not full pedal to the floor the whole time. I pick my spots. So, I, I mean, I like, to, I like to go fast. Some people come to enjoy the great parties, some people are here to enjoy the company of the other gumballers, and some are simply here to push themselves to the limits and to find out how far can they really go. Ah! <laughs> just taking it slow and steady and just, you know, not getting stopped every five minutes seems to be the right strategy. But that's obviously going to go right out the window when you've got people tearing along at 160. We should have gone that way. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> we study European police strategy uh, and law, traffic law, um, because we think the other drivers are really not, uh, they're not ready for the real police, and they're not ready for us. Yes, please pull over the vehicle now and bring the documents to, and your keys, over to our car. <laughs> I want to say there's not a chance on God's beautiful green earth that I'm going to be anywhere near the front, so we're going to just try to make it there and not be last. There's a little bit of danger, high speed, energy, car chases, fat cars, good people, shame. Nice tits. Nice tits and shame. <laughs> and of course, in true Gumball style, the night before the start, and it's time for some serious preparation. I love the Gumball. The Gumball is not just six days of hard driving across 3,000 miles but also six nights of partying at the world's most glamorous clubs and hotels, from Paris to Marrakesh, Casablanca to Cannes. For the gumballers, it will be a supreme test of endurance and indulgence. Where the only thing in short supply is sleep. But the gumball is not just about when you get to the finish, but how you get there. Clear! Every year, the spirit of the gumball is awarded to the driver who best encapsulates the unique values of the event. 
Torkenstein is half human and half man. He still runs on a human heart because he is so kind to people. He is so generous. Jerry Reynolds, a.k.a. Torkenstein, is trying harder than most to win. When it comes to races, so when he is experiencing the gumball 2004, the other gumballers should be prepared for Torkenstein. Defending spirit of the gumball winner is Alex Roy. He did last year's gumball as a New York cop. This time, he's come as a Canadian Mountie. Does someone have a pen we can borrow? <laughs> For some, imitation may be the sincerest form of flattery. But Alex lets the latest pretender to his crown know exactly how he feels about it. Ripping off my idea, it's like so lame. I'll tell you why I like Torkenstein. New idea, unique character. NYPD, I f did that last year. It's old news, dude. Lame. Hong Kong's answer to jackass are the Iyer Boys. They've hired a brand new Winnebago to do the rally and decided to brighten it up a little. Of course, with the owner's permission. Well, sort of. So this is your vehicle over here? Yes. And uh, you drove it from where? From From Munich, okay. all the way to Paris. And, and now it looks like this. And how do you feel about that? Scheiße. This is Thank you. Okay. For the opportunity to f your car. <laughs> you guys are crazy. This year's Gumball is the biggest ever. And for event organizer Maximilian Cooper, there's one last chance to brief the competitors on the six day adventure that lies ahead. We have 180 cars from all around the world entered. Complete bunch of uh, jackasses to bankers and everything in between, I think. Massive apologies if there's been... For the next week, the lives of every gumballer will be as far removed from reality as could be imagined. The competitors and their cars will be tested to the maximum, and many will not make it to the end of Rally Party in Cannes. You just got to go with it. I do want to tell you about the route this year, although uh, we try not to give too much away. We're going to Africa. The next six days is going to be the biggest adventure these guys have ever had, I think. Those that have done it before know a little bit what to expect, but again, they underestimate and they forget how far they, you know, the endurance factor is on this. And uh, they're in pieces now and we haven't even started, so I don't know. Be prepared. The start is now just an hour away. And for the gumballers, things are really starting to hot up. Over 12 million pounds of supercharged machinery is let loose from the holding garage onto the streets of Paris. The plan is for the cars to reenact the infamous run from the cult movie Rendezvous and drive a parade lap to the Sacre Coeur and then onto the start line beneath the Eiffel Tower. Well, that's the plan. I've been a hacker in my early years and then I started the data security business, sold that very successfully, then busted it all doing an insider trading scandal and uh, was in prison for six months. Uh, then when I got out, thank you, thank you man, thank you. And my new ventures are about to take off and to take over the world. While Kim Schmitz and the rest of the gumballers prepare their escape route out of the city, Alex Roy is struggling even to get out of the garage. This is majorly bad. Everything was tested. Hey darling, how are you? You are cute. What is your name? Julia. Julia, you are pretty. Can I give you my number? Yeah, sure, give me your number. You want to join the gumball? And deep beneath the city, for Alex, the nightmare continues. The gumball hasn't even started yet, and the Iyer boys have already managed to get lost. I tell you, it's this way! We'll make it. Determination, perseverance, and a good set of jump leads. Alex Roy exhibits all of the qualities vital to a gumball winner. And with seconds to spare, He's back on the road.
coming up next in part two. The flag is down and the gumball gets underway. Heading south and the gumballers take it to the maximum. That's awesome. Let's go. And then there's the ones who didn't get away. Oh, no. Game over for me. In the shadow of the Eiffel Tower, the 2004 Gumball is unleashed. You guys totally lied to us about the checkpoints. We're going the other way. The 180 cars head out across Paris's rain-soaked streets to the first checkpoint, 250 miles south. See you at the private race course, honey. Three hours, we hope. The wild, the wacky and the downright strange are all here. Every combination of vehicle is on the starting grid, but the gumball is as much about style as it is about speed. Are you sure you're going to make it in this? Huh? Well, I reckon, I reckon. All my good wishes and my prayers are with you, my friend. <laughs> Rush hour in Paris and the commuters find themselves sharing their streets with a gumball fleet of 30 Ferraris, 20 Mercedes, 8 Lamborghinis and 34 Porsches. And of course it's not just supercars, there's also a 2CV, a London cab and a Winnebago. Come looking for me. I was sleeping. I love you. The 500 competitors will follow a route that in the first 24 hours alone will take them across France and into Spain, where they will eventually reach Marbella 1,200 miles later. Then it's a ferry to Morocco and two days across the North African desert before returning to Europe, across Spain and back to France for the triumphant finish in Cannes. The gumball is just a few minutes old and already the rumours are flying that the French police are on the lookout for the rally. We've got like a top of the range you know, laser and radar detector. Apparently it's highly illegal in France to have one. It's like a thousand euro fine and then they, they crush the radar detector in front of you on the road apparently. So we thought we'd just take it fairly easy. I mean, we're only doing about a ton most of the time until up to 130, 140 every now and then. So we thought we'd take it easy and just not use the radar detector until we get into Spain. Which is perhaps a little bit gay, but it's safe as well. But we're bored of that now. <laughs> and inevitably, temptation and a 6.8 litre engine get the better of them. It's a bad boy, boys! <laughs> Jesus! That's awesome. One team without any worries from the police are Gary and John in the 2CV. Breaking the speed limit would be the ultimate achievement for them. No, we're not going to come last. We're going to finish and... Uh, Oh, this one coming fast. Yeah, that's the sort of we have to put up with. Yeah. It's 250 miles to the first checkpoint at the historic racing circuit of Maduclos near Aubusson. This is a race. It ain't a rally. Yeah, this ain't no rally. This is a race <laughs> right here. And with the traffic of Paris behind them, it's really time to let loose. The Gumballer's radar detectors have beaten the speed trap so far, but it's an unmarked car that claims the first arrest of the rally. The competitors have been warned that the French police are pursuing a no-tolerance policy towards speeders, and it's a 750 euro fine for each of the four cars that get busted. We were, we were it wasn't up, big up, honest. An unlucky start for these gumballers, maybe. But at least they get to keep their licenses, and a few euros lighter, they get back on the road. Je cherche pour um, la maison de Pierre. Riding with the NYPD car is former Soul to Soul singer Kim Mazel. Behind the wheel is Justin Etzin, and unluckily for Kim, Justin is having major problems maintaining his direction. But thanks to a few helpful words from a local, they're on their way. Au 
30 miles away and it looks like the end of the road for one group of gumballers. Game over for me. I'm sure it doesn't even dip. 221 kilometers an hour. Almost double the speed limit. Now that will take some explaining. I'm staying here and probably not doing the rest of the rally. Meanwhile, Melissa in the NYPD car tries to get a better fix on their position with a little help from her new friend. Unfortunately, Raoul fails to deliver and Justin breaks the rule of a lifetime and asks for directions. Well, that sorted it then. Let's pray. <laughs> Some gumballers have headed off the motorway to try and avoid the police, but the local gendarmerie have already been tipped off and lie in wait. We're, we're about uh, 10k from you now, I think. But um, we've just been pulled over by the old bill and they just put the pulled us over again. Did you have to pay a fine? No, I just sold his ass. <laughs> 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 he's a bit sore now, but he's used to it. <laughs> Is, that Is that the car burning? For Kim, though, it seems like the journey will never end. I feel so used and abused. It's la maison de Pierre. Pierre, I'm going to Oui, 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 Bonsoir. 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 Merci beaucoup. Bonsoir. Let's go this way. Okay. Well, we just, let's not just go this way. We went the other way for 40 minutes. The net is tightening, but not all the gumballers are prepared to take the rap lying down. They reckon I was doing 200 kilometers an hour, which I was not doing. So, either that or my speedos are way out. So wasn't doing 200 so I'm interested to see their proof I say 160 maybe 180 at the maximum so definitely not 200 Uh, it's not accepting my card. Do you know where we're going from here? Going too fast isn't the problem for Bucky Lasek and Willy Santos. Going at all seems to be the issue. They're out of gas and the French pumps don't seem to like Bucky's American credit card. Is there any way I can give you cash? We waited for half an hour! Finally, the card is accepted and with the gas flowing, the duo get going. Meanwhile, in Limoges, the other skateboard team have had their own fuel foul up. Getting gas wasn't the problem. We put the, uh, the wrong. The car's diesel, and we didn't know that. And we put like regular super unleaded gas. Did you guys put gas in this shit? Yeah. This yeah. Need tools? Uh, well, we don't know how to spray it. I put it in there, you know, we try to siphon it out. I tried like five times, but I just got a mouthful of gas stuck, every yeah. time. In the movies, movies and <laughs> people, well, once they siphon gas, it just starts coming out. As the rest of the gumballers get back on the road, it looks like the end of the line for these skaters. 50 miles from the first checkpoint, and their gumball looks to be over already. It's been a tough night for the crews. Bad weather, difficult navigation, lack of fuel and police speed traps have all taken their toll. But for the lucky ones who've made it this far, the first official stop near Aubusson is a welcome sight. Aubusson. Woo! Yay! Aubusson, whatever that is, I hope that's where we're going. I'm so sick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw up an Aubusson. <laughs> It's my next single. <laughs> my next single, I'm throwing up an episode. <laughs>
The gumballers gather to share the first leg stories. Only five hours out of Paris, and already eight drivers have lost their licenses. You as well. Oh, yeah. That's four, four. Eight of us. Eight got of you. Done. Yeah, we got busted. Was it all in one go? Yeah. yeah, they just kept yeah. nicking us off the motorway, just coming out. 750 on just... euros and no <laughs> driving licence. <laughs> what is written on my forehead? <laughs> Twat. <laughs> oh, well. Jesus. Who wanted to drive anyway? Driving is for I want to get a spoiler to, to France. France. Next time. <laughs> yeah. It was all going fine. Good speeds, 150, 160, uh, until um, we saw police. Slowed right down. Apparently, they caught us doing 120. Um, we tried to lose them by going up a side road, and then we got lost, so we t tried <laughs> to go backwards down it, and they stopped us. Um, He's not telling you that we actually reversed we up a slip road <laughs> as well, so. <laughs> I don't yeah, think that helped very I was much. To be diplomatic. Well, here we have one Ford Escort. Um, it is one of the world's fastest accelerating cars, really. 2.88 to 60, 6.06 to 100, which is about a second quicker than the Enzo. Uh, unfortunately, um, we blew the gearbox up, uh, so we had to change it overnight. But uh, we're here, we made it. Um, we just took a really crap route. Yeah. And uh, after seeing like 170 on the way down, and we just lost all the time. So, but uh, anyway. So we're going to go and get something to eat and uh, get back on the road. Cool. How hey, did all right? Oh. It's car all right. Cars. Unlikely heroes are Gary and John with the 2CV. Their reserve supply of fuel is still intact, lucky for the owner of one thirsty supercar, but it's not been easy. <laughs> We've had a problem with the engine. We've lost 10 miles an hour, you know, on the engine. Which is and about 20% of our top <laughs> speed. <laughs> So all we can do is 65 at the moment. <laughs> so uh, we've got no problems with the police. That's but, the other thing yeah. as well, which is great. Yeah, but the uh, you know, the story with the uh, the hare and the fox. Yeah, <laughs> hare and the hare and a turtle, isn't it? Hair, oh, yeah, a turtle yeah. and the hare, isn't it? Yeah, even. even. Yeah, we'll get it right next time they interview. Us. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. Made it. Just Bloody great. Yeah, a few uh, bit of a cock up at the beginning with some of the. <laughs> Navigation, but we're not doing too badly. We think we're actually only down. We're about sort of car 110 out of 180. It's only about two thirds down. For old Bentley, it's not bad. Where's the toilet? We finally made it. Yeah. I gotta throw up. After the gumballers refuel themselves, it's back on the road. 1,000 miles lie between them and the end of stage one, Marbella. And for some of them, it's going to be a long, long time before they make it to Spain. Next on Gumball 3000. The people at Real Madrid said no more donuts, no more we're out going up and down. So they're going to be proper pissed off about that. And the madness moves to Morocco as the Gumball begins its African adventure. 